Good afternoon to all of you. I am Dr. Kumar Swami from the Department of uh, Chemistry. I welcome all of you for this uh, session. This session will be on music and fine arts. The honorable guest and speaker of this particular uh, session is uh, Vidwan Mysore A. Chandan Kumar. It is my privilege to introduce Mr. Chandan Kumar to you. Mr. Chandan Kumar A. hails from a family of great uh, musical heritage. He is the great grandson of legendary violinist Sangeeta Kalanidhi, Sangeeta Ratna, late Mysore Sri T. Chaudaya. Chandan Kumar has learned the art of uh, playing flute from his guru Sri M. Gopalakrishna. He is also guided by uh, Padma Bhushan Sri P. S. Narayana Swami of Chennai. The main characteristics of uh, Chandan's viral style are powerful blow, soul moving melody and refreshing creativity all resting on rigor. His inno innovative mind is ever in quest of new horizons and fresh expositions. Thus each of his uh, concerts have rightly earned the title a singing uh, flutist. He is also technically skilled to knit himself in Jigalbandi concerts with the prominent Hindustani artists and also leads in pr uh, prestigious percussion ambles, assembles which makes him uh, makes his rendering uh, versatile style. Chandan's concerts and interviews have been telecasted in various uh, radio and TV channels. He has performed in esteemed uh, platforms of the country and abroad. He is an expanded uh, artist of various uh, premier organizations uh, such as Indian Council for Cultural Relations. Apart from a full-time performing scheduler, Chandan has also dedicated himself to impart his uh, musical knowledge to many of his uh, young aspirants. He has extensively traveled abroad for concerts and visited many countries. He is also a recipient of uh, many awards. And it, is, uh, a, it will be a great experience for all of us to hear him. It is a honor for us. So now I would request uh, Sri Chandan Kumar to uh, run his program. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Chandan sir, you can continue. Chandan sir? Chandan sir? Sir, you can continue, sir. Sir, you can start now, sir. You can start now. Namaste, sir. You can start. Sir, your voice are not able to hear your voice. In other voice, you can hear the Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sure. Okay. Good 
गुड आफ्टरनून नमस्ते प्रणाम सत्याकाल दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेशियस एंड मोस्ट मेमोरेबल टाइम्स ऑफ एनी वर्ल्ड्स लाइफ टाइम आई वेलकम यू ऑल माय डियर फ्रेंड्स फॉर दिस मैग्नोमस यूनिवर्सिटी इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रेप्यूटेड engineering colleges in the town and you are going to spend the most memorable times here for the next four years or so so i welcome you all and indeed it's a delight for me to interact with you if my interaction with you motivates you to do something good and bring out the hidden talent of the the hidden potential inside you i think that will be a fulfilling life for me before i begin my interaction with you first and foremost i would like to thank the principal the academic staff and all the management committee of sjc Jilin College for hosting this wonderful event, and I extend my warm greetings to all guest speakers. I will be sharing my little experience of three and a half decades of my musical journey, and my. Childhood and my college days, I, I always spent that. And what made me sit before you today and share my experience? Uh, in fact, it's a challenge for me because I'm sitting at home in my practice room and uh, sharing this without seeing any one of you. i would have preferred to see you all one on one for that personal touch but anyway two years has been a real challenge for all of us for the entire world we are sitting at home and still communicating and uh, reading lives it's a challenge learning new things every single day I can tell you about music. What texts are written? What great scenes and scholars are written? It's already in the books. If you refer the book, you get those, and many of things you get on Google too. So what I thought, let me share my experiences of people I came across. the wonderful memories i still carry alongside with me which inspires me which hurts me which makes me cry and which makes me dance out of joy so i thought let me share this with you so well if you have any doubts in between if you feel like asking me you are most welcome to ask me that i am communicating in english because folks from all over the nation are here i can speak well in canada because that's my mother tongue fairly good in english in fairly good in tamil as well Hindi and a little bit of Malayalam too. If you feel like we have a personal touch when you speak in your mother tongue, you are most welcome to. Uh, I think I am more expressive when I am with my instrument because I am handicapped without my flute. All these years, what I communicated was. with my instrument it's my best friend it's my extended breath 
and I breathe through my throat, I think through my throat, and oh, I don't know how to explain. I'm totally immersed, and it's true. Well, I think I should play a song for you. I know it's sports lunch. Many of you folks, including me, would be a little drowsy after a meal or the day long session. I would like to just present a small song for you so that, so that you can just enjoy that and that will give me a room to speak something about music too. Let me just turn on my tambura. Let's play a small song for you. <coughs>
this was a very popular song that started in classical music. So, you all like this song. I presume that you all like this song. I would like to hear from you your opinion how you like this song. I know all the musical folks, all the Tamil seers who are regular in music, they come and listen, they all like this. I just wanted to, on a personal friend, how did you like this song? If you could just pass the song to the coordinators, I feel really delighted. You should give your raw opinion so that it would be a wonderful feedback for me to present that next time. Yeah, we will have an interaction session in between two. Please be interactive and let me know your views on this. And I just want to ask which song was this? Can anyone identify this song? I know many elderly folks know this song, but from the student part, I just want to know how many of you know this song. Well, I am here today because I play the flute, you all know, but still there is a bridge connecting me to this E and uh, I send my sincere thanks to the renowned violin maestro, Dr. Mysore Kriyamanjana sir, for referring me here for this wonderful session. I express my sincere thanks. Thank you, sir. Well, I started my musical journey not at a very uh, small age. I was around 10 years or so when I started. All my other colleagues started very early. In, in fact, when they were in France, like 3 4 years. But it was quite late for me. Uh, maybe I had. Uh, music in my blood and genes, I could catch up faster. But there was no discount in practice because once I am on stage, only the things that I work will help me out to play and reach you. No awards, no citations, nothing, nothing. It's just your practice which will help. And and my and training at home was indeed a very, very, very painful one. At that point of time, I was just a small boy in my fifth or sixth standard. My father was a taskmaster. He made sure that every single day. I am going to practice and there is no count of hours, how many hours I practice. What was the target then? Till I get it. Till I get it and till I get it. And what was the syllabus? Once I have done that one, take up the next one. And the whole day used to go with this. It might be surprise, surprising for you. I never played any games in my childhood days. In fact, I did not have my childhood at all. Because I did not have any friends. They played, in fact, I did not touch a cricket bat in my lifetime. Nor I did play cricket. I did not have friends. Because of that, all the time is I used to practice, practice practice and that's it. He made me to listen to great music of Easter years and uh, that's it. Alongside I had education too but my father's priority was to play only flute. But you know you need to have a formal education. So, anyhow, I like, uh, am a postgraduate of commerce from the University of Mysore, which is right next to your campus. We are adjacent. I'm a little senior student than you. So, I did my postgraduation in commerce, 
since then I am only into music. I I know very little about of commerce. Uh, I can say I know nothing about commerce now. I just know about my food and the more and more I am going and knowing less and less and I am feeling that I, I have died inside this big ocean of music and I feel I am so small. The more I go deep, I know how small I am. So, this sounds very philosophical, but that's the truth. When I was a college student, I thought I knew everything. I was so confident. And you know, uh, I used to challenge myself, I am going to do this right now, this concert, I am going to do this. But today, at this point of time, I can't do that. Yeah, because of the age, your game and your hot level, you know. So you are all like now raw cement. You can shape up your life however you want. This four or five years is going to be a very, very crucial part of your life's journey. Once you end up, you are going to end up blossoming yourself all the blessings you have, whatever you are blessed with your hidden talents, you need to tap that and bring it out home. To do that, I am not admitting that because I am a musician, but music is the one thing which complements to all the sector of your life. Because I, I also came through this when I completed my pre university, when it was not plus one and plus two, it was to be first PUC and the second PUC. Since then, I've been performing. Those days performing used to be very hard. There was no reservations. To get the reservation, you need to go to the railway station or the bus station, get it reserved. No online reservation stuff. No cell phones. So it used to be really hard. I traveled I would, and I was got decent marks in my academics too. I was just lagging with a very little percentage to get my gold medal in, in call. This was all possible because I did not feel well. It's because of my not my hardship, because of my music. Which complemented to keep my memory intact. Keep my breath, breath intact. I was very fit because my breathing was strong. I daily practiced hours together and kept my breathing well intact and had good health, strong health, good builder, all because of I listened to good music and all the positive vibes just just it came and it, it, it got assimilated inside me. I just took it all in through the journey. So what I request and uh, you should all listen to music. That too, a classical music has in particular. Why I am stressing? Because I am not, because I am a classical musician. It's not that personal. I am stressing you on, on that. I am stressing because what songs do you listen? Which are the songs which stay for a very long time? If you are, if you know Hindi songs, you just you still listen to Lata Mangeshkar, Kishore Da and Mohammad Rafi. If you are a Kerala, you still listen to Babaraj, Devaraj and Master. Okay, if you are a Tam if if you are a Tamil guy, Tamilian, you would listen to Elayaraja sir. Raman sir, why? Why is that? Because it's all classical based. For example, in Hindi Naina Varase, it's a classical based song. Do you think we sing that song? In any the reality shows to have a good mark, to have that builder, 
The songs chosen are those songs. If you are a Malayali, still this term lingers in your mind. You might not be born or your, neither your parents when this song came.
the present day, the present generation is very intact, very sharp, very brainy, very studious, and very multitasking. I was, I was so innocent, you know. I was so innocent. At your age, I was not able to keep my throat properly. So you, you all know so many things around the world. We have that luxury in our mind. And that luxury, alongside, you have so many challenges. Because everything is available on hand, instant view. You are forced to do many things at a time. But, actually, I feel pity of you guys. Because we have the, we had the luxury of finishing a task and that is done, move on to next. No, it's very challenging for this generation to cope up with not many things around in a most efficient way. And happy that you are all doing that well. Well, I think, I don't know, because I don't have feedback. I'm sitting in my room and I'm talking. I think I should play one song and I want to hear the feedback. I request the coordinators to please uh, give me a feedback from this song, from the students. I'm going to present one more song now.
which is called which raga is this if you don't remember the name of the raga it is this the song which is very popular in this raga i will request the coordinators to please convey this message to students and let them know the feedback Can you hear me, sir? Hello, sir. Who? Oh. Sir, I am the coordinator. I hope I address you. I am not sure because I am not getting any feedback. Sir, I am I am the coordinator. So please let me hear from you. Hello, sir. Can you hear me, sir? No. Hello. I don't know how to start and where to start and where to end because I need to have a reciprocation. I am used to that. my concerts and when i interact with my friends 
Yeah, dear friends, yeah, I just wanted to share a few anecdotes and a few vivid moments which I went through. You know, I had no friends in my life. I had no childhood at all for that. I was just a, I was just like a soldier, like an army man. They had their gun on my hand, had my food on my hand. That's the difference. And my father was a taskmaster. And I was fortunate to have two great gurus. With one, I can go by this master who taught me to play on the flute. And I still continue to take my guidance from him. And my other guru, with one, Padmu, who should, should be a Narayan Swami sir from Chennai, who groomed me up and bought out the best of whatever I had. And if I was lacking with something, they all filled me with that. And made me to whatever I am today. And I am very, very grateful for the two noble souls who are always with me. And uh, I am just always with me and uh, I carry that legacy with me. And I am not sitting here alone. I have all the souls around, all the angels who make me to play, who, who make me to talk and free with me, fill me with energy to do all the best things I could do. Yeah. Yeah. I had no television, no radio only for music, oh, no. television also only for music and not for entertainment. I had no friends. Yeah, I think I am getting a call. Please excuse me on this. This call is for the... Hello.
hearing this song, there was a scream, overwhelming joy from the kids from that school to play this song once again. And this, this is not a film song, this is a pure classical song which is taught during the early stages of learning South Indian classical music. This beautiful song is called Rara Venugopa Bala Rajita Sabduna Jayashila. This is in the Raga called Vilarari. Such a Ayan Thakam, a rhythm cycle of eight beats. Let me just give a bird's view of our musical system. Mother India has two children, two precious children. One is Carnatic music, which is the Dakshin Adi music. The other is the North Indian or the Hindustan music. The music which is prominent in the southern four states, that is Karnataka, Kerala, Andhra, and Tamil Nadu, is Carnatic music. And this Carnatic music is most more popular here. And the rest of the states, it's in this language. So, I basically play the South Indian classical music, which is Carnatic classical music. So, Carnatic music, classical music is an age-old, ancient, traditional art form, which came from before Bharata Muni. So, it's a big story and this is not an appropriate platform to tell all about that. As I previously told you that I want to share my experiences of my own to the journey of my music, music career. So, I play Kanadi classical music. Kanadi classical music is one of the most, most scholarly the most ancient, the most mind boggling what not. I am small to speak about this music, big music art song. And uh, it's not that I am a Carnatic musician and I am admitting this. Many, many, many scholars from the western part of the world who have heard Carnatic classical music and our North Indian friends style. It's a very, 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 very comprehensive, very scientific, scientifically proven hidden formulas, the capsules, which keeps your brain very alert. At the same time, pour your heart out to express your feelings through this medium. That way, uh, thematic music is very, very very beautiful, very beautiful. To start up with, I'm just playing the popular numbers because the folks who are not known to Carnatic classical music should not be carried away without liking this. So for that reason, I'm just choosing the popular numbers. It's not that I can play the most complicated thing. If I explain a Pythagoras theorem to a kindergarten student, he won't enjoy it. I'm not telling that you are a kindergarten student. In fact, I am. Because to introduce anything, you need to come from the bottom line. That's very important. This is like, if you take a mountaineering truck by India Heights or any company and if you want to visit an MRN trucking, what is that? First, the very first thing you do is you mentally prepare. You go to the base camp. You go to the base camp, acclimatize yourself to that. Then start your journey. You go upward. You go upward, upward, stay acclimatized. Then you take the summit. You take the summit and do the summit and you descend. It's the same thing in life, in music, in learning, in your heartbeat, in your life, everything is the same. For example, it's called Anuloma and Viloma. Anuloma is ascending, Viloma is descending. So you start with small little things like acclimatizing, 
like you come from first standard, second standard, third standard, and you grow up and you listen. That's what I say to Seeing in music, in South Indian Carnatic music, we have five elements of improvisation. Improvisation in colloquial this language is called as Mano Dharma. Mano Dharma is creativity. Our art form is purely based on creativity. You have set patterns, you use that for learning, keeping that as base, that's like a skeleton. You need to fill the muscles, the blood and the decor it and make it a, the most beautiful creature on earth. It's the same with music. I played the Ragadesh. I started simply and I took it along how it came. In the same way, the five elements, the monothermic elements of our Carnatic music, the very first one was the Ragam. Ragam is, I'll just give you an example, what Ragam is. of 
limbs of nerve which is the fourth component i will move on to the next component which is the sphoracalpana or the calpana sphoras where the nerve is chosen the seen part is decorated with the swarams of the raga this raga has six swaram ex exotonic melody by the kamsa and the set which is also called as sharva meaning it has six notes sa ri ga ma da ni given the six notes we decorate the I'll try to do my best.
this was a very shortest glimpse of a just I just gave it a good view of the five very important elements of our creative music form. I did not plan anything, it just came with the flow of my talk and uh, and I hope uh, I, I, I wish I had uh, folks around so that we will be mutually, we would have been mutually motivated and uh, carried that memory for a long time. But nevertheless, this is a wonderful opportunity for me to uh, having this platform. The thing is, I have, I have I have spoken in almost all the IITs and I am again across the country, but I have never uh, done this in my own hometown. Yes, I did once in JC campus with the Spigmatic concert uh, that happened in a very short notice and uh, you know uh, at the very end of the academic session and uh, it was all in rush. I am so happy that it happened today. And, uh, it's once again a delight. It's very hard for me to start after I play. Actually, I, I need to talk or play. I can't do both because it's two, completely two different territories. So I try my best to inspire you in whatever way I could do. But I shall say that I did work with my full heart and soul to reach you. And uh, if it has really inspired you, not that you, you have to be a musician, you know, you can also be a good listener, which makes the music traffic a full balance to one. We need to have good listeners to reciprocate, and you listeners need to have musicians like us. So it, it will be a complete process. So hope you all will start listening to classical music and I would also request you to come to live concerts. Listen to them. Carry out all the live vibes. It's true I experienced myself when I play a live concert, live not Facebook live or Insta live, when I play before a live audience. I carry all the positive energy which is blessed to me and I give all the positive energy to the connoisseurs too. It's not mine, it's been passed away to me from generations. I have the responsibility to carry forward the slides and pass on. And today I am very happy that I have new folks well, entering the, the most wonderful part of their life, which will stay with them forever. I'm repeating this because I'm missing all those wonderful days, but those memories are still vivid and it will stay forever with me. I have many, many thoughts are coming inside. So, I would also like to play one more song for you. I played one song which is a South Indian and uh, I should not uh, like uh, begin playing any song which is also near to North Indian, my North Indian friends. So I want to play a bhajan uh, for them. Hope you will enjoy that bhajan too. Let me go ahead. This is basically a version composed by Purantar Rasa South, which is being tuned to the Raga called Bhairavi North System, Sindhu Bhairavi in the Southern System. This is the triplets that is called a Vishwagati. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. The name of the song is Tanguri Vichidava, Bhavati Dhatidava. Mm -hmm.
ध्यान से इस गुरु श्री हरिदास
Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, your wonderful uh, session. It was uh, a great treat for all of us to hear you. You have uh, taken us to different uh, through different ragas, and you have given a, a glimpse of what uh, the music looked like. And all our students have enjoyed this. And uh, one of the major uh, hurdle here was uh, uh, the, the interaction. There was a, you know, a lacking of interaction. Uh, otherwise, the session was uh, very excellent and uh, we, we all thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, our students also uh, enjoyed it. And uh, they were sending a lot of messages uh, in the chat box. Unfortunately, we were not able to communicate with you. Uh, in fact, you wanted us to uh, have the interaction and it would have been wonderful had there been any kind of interaction between the students and uh, you, sir. And uh, most probably uh, next time uh, we may have a, a session where there will be direct interaction between the students and you, sir. And uh, we would like to have you uh, for the next induction program also. And uh, I'm very thankful to you, sir, for uh, accepting our invitation on behalf of management, on behalf of uh, students and uh, the faculty coordinators. I would like to thank you. Thank you for uh, uh, your uh, uh, you know, participation in this event and uh, your uh, you know, session. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir.